You're probably spending a lot of time in virtual meetings and want to learn how to make note-taking much easier. Then this is the perfect video for you because I will dive into how to use a free note-taker called Fathom.video. And I will show you not only how to use the free version, but also how to make most of the pro versions. Let's get right to it. To use this free note taker, just go to fathom.video. This brings you to the Fathom note taker and I'm already signed into my note taker here. If you don't have an account yet, simply sign in with your Google account or another account and get started. The note taker works pretty simple by just connecting to your Google Meet. So when you start a new meeting, there's a button in the bottom left corner that lets you start the Fathom note taking. You can see here that Fathom is joining. You can admit them to the note taking room and now it's starting to take the notes for you. You can kick this note taker out anytime by just clicking uh, click to stop and then the note taker is kicked out. So Fathom is completely free and it allows you to do many, many things by recording your videos and giving you the basic transcripts. Let's take a look at one of the example videos I have here. So here you see the summary and you can see the transcripts and it gives you the option to do multiple different summaries. For example, the chronological summary is free, but if you want another summary, for example, if this is a sales pitch meeting, it can summarize exactly your sales points and tailor it really specific towards your, your customer. But this one requires the premium version and in just a second, I'll show you exactly why you should or you should not get the premium version. So pretty much all of these are free and what you can do to analyze this meeting is you can go to the transcript, copy all of the transcript and then go to ChatGPT and you can go in there and say, uh, um, summarize this meeting and then it will summarize the meeting for you. But what Fathom does really well is it has these custom summaries here. For example, it has the general, uh, the sales, sales spiced, um, then it has Q&A, demo, customer success, and multiple other options that are super, super helpful. On top of that, you can extract action items from the transcript, but this is unfortunately also one of the premium features. And then lastly here, you can share this meeting and this recording with anyone you'd like. I'm gonna stop my meeting right here to show you some of the pro features now. All right, so let's go back here and let's um, look into to the settings. This is where the pro features really have some really cool features. So in order to get access to the pro features, you click on upgrade to restore access. And then there's uh, two options. Annual billing is $15 per month. And then the monthly billing is $19 a month. So I'm going to just get the pro feature real quickly. A few moments later. And now that we have the pro version, you can see that a lot of these things are now enabled. You can connect to Zapier. You can change the uh, name of the bot. And I would definitely change that to something more friendly. For example, most friendly notes taker or most I would change this to most private note taker because sometimes when you're in business meetings people are worried about the privacy concern and then um, I'm gonna turn this one um, on and I'm also gonna say default meeting summary template let's change that to general and lastly I would say recording notification banner let's see what we have here I would turn that off so that people don't see the notification banner so now let's try this out in a Google meet start a new meeting and let's invite our note taker right away again Let's admit our note taker. And here we can see now it's called most private note taker. And it doesn't have the screen image this time because we turned that off right here in the settings. So that alone is pretty useful and pretty helpful. Let's stop this meeting and look at what other things are now possible. So what you can do is you can connect it to Slack. So every single time that you finish a meeting, let's say you're in a sales call, you can connect it to Slack and then push that towards one of your sales channels so that everyone has access to that meeting or the meeting notes. Uh, you can also connect it to Salesforce um, or your preferred CRM. And the last powerful thing that you need to know here is how to use the auto generate action items works. So let's go back to our one of our meetings. So for example, he had a, at an example meeting and what it does now is it looks through this transcript and it can extract the action items. And in this case, I was just doing an example meeting, so it might not have any action items, but uh, for longer meetings, especially with group meetings, this can be super helpful if you cover a lot of ground and you want to go back and kind of see what action items are necessary for each individual person. So like I said here, it didn't detect any action items, but what I mentioned in the beginning of the video, Video here is that now we can try different um, summaries. So for example, in this case, I'm going to click on demo. And here we can see it generated all of the summary about the demo. It's nicely formatted and I can now include that into my Notion or wherever I keep my notes. One more bonus tip here for the power users is I came up with a custom GPT prompt that makes it really easy to take your whole transcript and create an email with actionable items that I can then send to the person that I had the meeting with. So check this out. I'm going to copy this text here. I go to ChatGPT and I say this whole prompt and then I just copy in the transcript of the meeting. So go back here, go to transcript and go copy transcript. And then I paste that in here. 
And now it takes my whole meeting and it just creates a beautiful email, even with subject lines that I can then share with the person that I had the meeting with. This is super powerful. I'm gonna leave the prompt uh, in the description and there's many other cool features that I have in this specific meeting productivity guide. The last thing that is available with the pro features that you need to check out is the Ask Fathom thing right here. Now it goes into your meeting notes and you can ask it anything about the meeting. For example, what did I discuss at the end of the meeting? And then it will tell you exactly what happened during that time or what topics were discussed, or you can have it bullet points or whatever you want. Uh, just talk with your transcripts. It's super powerful and I really like this feature. Quick disclaimer, Fathom reached out to me and asked me if I could make a video about their pro features, which I did, but I've been using them for a long time without them reaching out to me. And I'm happy that I can showcase some of the pro features. Let me know what other tools you'd like me to review and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.